Hello and welcome back to this channel. This video is about the 10 characters I think should be added to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. In number 10 we have Jabba the Hutt. Although he might take up half the screen, the infamous crime lord is well known for operating a vast criminal empire throughout the Star Wars universe. He can be used to help boost bounty hunter synergy and we can also finally have a use for the Gamorrean Guard, and he could be a requirement for Luke event in the future. Secondly, we have the Praetorian Guards. The elite guards of Supreme Leader Snake could be a great addition, and their incredible skill in martial arts and different weapons could make for cool animations. At number 8, we have IG-11. A character newly introduced in the Mandalorian, the character has already shown to be interesting, having a protective caring mode and a mindless killing mode. This could lead to some interesting mechanics. At number 7 we have Hondo. Since the new Clone Wars show is coming up, it is a great opportunity to release Hondo, the infamous pirate who is a prominent figure in the show and one of the fan favourites. His addition could open the door for a new pirate faction, which would be cool. At number 6 we have Pre Vizsla. The leader of Death Watch and Darksaber wielder could showcase his incredible use of the famous blade and the Mandalorian gadgets in an exciting kit and he could also lead the way for a Mandalorian faction in the future. At number 5 we have Jedi Master Kenobi. Although we have a General Kenobi, we fail to have a chance to see the Kenobi of Episode 3. Master Kenobi, an iconic character out of all the movies, could be an interesting character, especially if he is added alongside Fallen Anakin. At number 4 we have Fallen Anakin. Fallen Anakin is when Anakin turns to the dark side and becomes Darth Vader, and, would, and it would be a cool variant to see. His addition could lead to an epic event mimicking the epic battle on Mustafar between Anakin and Kenobi, where both of them are at their primes. At number 3 we have Agent Callus. Agent Callus could be what is needed to improve the Phoenix faction, which has become less and less viable. Having the Imperial Spy would also be interesting as we may have the opportunity to see some spy mechanics. He also has a sick weapon. At number 2 we have Baby Yoda, an instant favourite from the new show. The child is known as Baby Yoda, has already shown us he is not just a cute face fighting off a mud horn with the force. If he is added as a summon, there is still a lot of potential for the child to become a great character. At number 1 we have the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian has been a great show so far and the protagonist has shown to be a great character struggling from a difficult childhood to become a deadly bounty hunter. I believe that a synergy with other characters on the show is a must have in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Thank you for watching.